Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay. This is Tyler, and we make money online selling clothing on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. Yeah. So today's video is going to be a thread up unboxing, which we haven't done in forever. It's been a while. <laughs> and this is going to be a collab video with Married Life. She is one of our oldest and best reselling friends, YouTube friends, all that type of stuff. And from what I hear, her video is amazing and hilarious. I hear that it's going to be extra special and <laughs> possibly spicy. So make sure that you check that out. We are going to link it down below. I also try to link it up here. So check it out. It's going to be great. Um, these are two different thread up unboxings. It's going to be a fun box and a pajama box. So if you are excited for that, make sure you stay till the end. But before we open the boxes, I do have a shirt. You do. I can see I you know. posturing. I know. Uh, it's Control the Chaos. Uh, it's actually a work shirt. I just like the front graphic. And I'm trying to channel this into our life because chaos is everywhere. Uh, especially <laughs> especially her mean, office. Yeah, he means piles of clothing. So if you have chaos in your house, you have piles of clothing for all of the stuff you resell, let us know in the comments below so that I don't feel alone. You're not you're not alone. <laughs> okay, so these are both thread up boxes that we have never tried before. Um, Married Life sent me a message and asked to do this, and I was like, you know what? That's actually pretty cool because we've never tried either one. So the first one, I think, is the pajama box, but we're not sure. I don't know. Which. So let's just get right into it. Oh, 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 okay. Oh. All right, all right. It doesn't seem like it's pajamas. It seems like now, it's... hold on. Before you look at anything, is there a packing slip? There is not. There is no packing slip. This is interesting. Okay, so this is from Arizona. And there is no packing slip. It's the pajamas. It, it's, it looks like it's the pajama box. It looks like it's the intimate section of the pajamas world. Oh, there's a tag. There's a tag. This is Third Love made in China. It's like a satiny. Um, I mean, I'll wear it. Um, I have no idea anything about this. So I will show you the tag here. Third Love. It is new with tags. You can see that there. Um, uh, looks like they have an Instagram. I don't know. Does it tell you what type of material it is? Uh, polyester, one size fits all. Don't know, but comfy, comfy. Uh, this is Notori, also new at tags. I, so I've been looking at bras more and more lately because it's an essential and sales have not been great. So I feel like essentials might be good, but, uh, it's a nice strapless bra. And I've heard people say Notori is good. It's new at tags. It says it retailed for $60, um, size 36A. Is, no is Notori notoriously good? <laughs> and it also has the strap. So that's pretty good. Okay. This is, this, this is a fun bedtime bra. And this is actually a good brand too. I've seen this on some, I've been watching some people talking about bras to learn what brands pick up. And this was one that's been brought up a lot. Uh, it's very lacy. It's a, a much larger do you think? Bra. Do you think it would look good on you? I don't uh, know. <laughs> no, we're not, we're not gonna find it. Um, and it is a size 42 DDD. Tri so it's a triple D. Triple D, yeah. Not, not a double it D, it's a triple D. Triple D, yeah. And it looks in great condition. So that's awesome. And then the last one is Sugar Thrills. Also a little bit of a... Uh, little scandalous. A scandalous bedtime outfit. I don't think this is... Oh, there's... Oh, oh this it's is lingerie. A, that's, yeah, it's definitely... It's, and it it's, has a sanitary tag on it. It's got the sanitary tag on it. It's brand new, which is nice. It's got the, the butt floss on the back. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, God. This um, is... So, oh, it's Doll's Kill. Okay, so... Uh, Dolls Kill, if you don't know, is a website that uh, has a bunch of different brands under it, and I only know it from Graveyard Girl. Yes, I am dating myself. However, she is somebody I still kind of watch, and that is the brand tag there. Uh, it is a size extra small. I don't think I'll fit into an extra small, but I'm liking the, the Crush Velvet or Velour right here. Feeling it. Feeling it. Adorable. And I love the fact that everything in this box is new with tags or in very good condition. Pristine. So I can't, can't complain about that. Awesome. And there would have been nothing worse than just immediately dropping <laughs> something for immediately being now. horrified. And considering I just started looking in the bra section like this past week, it's kind of good timing. Hmm. All right. So this has to be the fun box. Uh, it's got to it be, right? It says fun box. So okay. there's supposed to be 10 items in here and this was $32. Okay, this is... Um, it looks like a... A bodysuit? Um, well, no, it's... This Kelpie... It looks like tank top and maybe underwear? I'm not really sure, so here we go. 
This is this. I don't know. But full disclosure, I don't really have um, undershirts. So if I need one. I mean. I don't. I really don't. What is that? This is uh, Forever 21 Clutch. I mean, okay. I mean. Uh, it's not great, but. <laughs> it doesn't feel great. It doesn't. But you know what? Somebody out there might want this. But admittedly, it does not feel fantastic. And there's some wear at the bottom here. I mean, um, these are these are some interesting. These are new socks. Uh, they're like thigh high socks, I would imagine, because it's it's triple thing. They got the buttons down the side. We can always use socks. We can always uh, use socks. Yeah, well, they won't fit me. <laughs> so you can use socks. In the weather that we have right now ain't wearing them. No, no. Uh, it's like a billion degrees. Uh, this is a, a digital watch. It's a Casio, which is not the worst thing in the world. It's just a gold watch. It's a grandparent watch is what it reminds me of. <laughs> Except well, for digital. Ca Casio made their, their bones back in the 80s with the digital watch being the first ones to market. So Very interesting. Okay. Um, these are no brand flats. Size, oh, 39. They have no weight to them at all. Oh, no, they're... These are, for lack of a better word, crap. Um, sorry about <laughs> that. Uh, but, yeah, I mean... I mean, they, they have a little bit of cool detail. Yeah, they're, them, they're but cool, but they just, I mean, they feel awful. The, the material is not feeling nice. That's not even real leather. No. It's, that's just kind of straight garbage. Yeah. Admittedly. But, you know... <laughs> hmm... Uh, Kate Spade. Oh, that looks like a little wine pouch. It is a wine pouch. That's kind of cute. Okay. It's got gold polka dots. I mean, how are you going to complain about Kate Spade? It's probably going to go for 10, 20, 15 20 bucks. bucks. Yeah, but it's adorable. And it would be a great little like gift if you were going to visit someone, gave them wine, you know, and put it in a little pouch. Very cute. So this looks to be a tablecloth. Uh, no, I think it's a, one of those long scarf things. Maybe a scarf? Or it could be a runner. Uh, oh, it has a brand right here. It is Ama Waterways. There you guys can see the tag. Hold on. I'm not doing a very good job at this. There we go. I have no idea. Um, I think it's one of those it's scarf things. It's not in the greatest shape. There's some staining on it. Yeah. There you can see. I don't know if that is being picked up at all, but there's some staining on it. So I'd have to go through the wash. Uh, I mean, it's, but, a, it's either a scarf or a table runner. <laughs> One or the other. Uh, universal thread. Uh, it does have the original list price of, or retail price of $15, $14.99. Uh, some of our viewers do want us to do jewelry. I don't think this is what they mean. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, if they're interested in buying it, we'll send it to you for basically free. Yeah, I mean, it's but cute. Don't get me wrong. Um, I don't think there's much resale value in this. I don't think I'm going to subject someone to universal thread. <laughs> I think that that right there would be criminal. Um, and I don't wear jewelry very much, so I don't think I'd get use out of it. But it's cute. There's, I mean, you know, and it's new with tags. Uh, this is a sports bra. Oh, well, so? cool. Okay, well, so cool. we just picked up this brand recently for selling. That's uh, new with tags. It's That's good. That's good. And it's a 36 double D and it's got a very firm support. So I think that's going to be helpful. Yeah. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I don't have any reference for bras. So there you go. What cool sport. So, I mean, I think actually this is the best item in the box because it's, um, I mean, right up the alley of what I'm trying to learn right now. And it's a great brand. So, Hey, I'll take that. And this one we might actually keep. This is a book. Uh, it's going to be test kitchen. Uh, America's Test Kitchen, 100 Techniques, Master a Lifetime of Cooking Skills from uh, Basic to Bucket List, uh, 200 Recipes. I mean, I'm already... He's in already intrigued. Already Let's intrigued. see, what do we got in here? Let's see. Uh, um, just pick a random page. Here we go. So, uh, foolproof baked white rice. Why would you bake white rice? I don't know. Ooh, uh, steak. Ooh, thick cut steak. steaks with herb butter. Pan seared flank steak. Uh, yeah, we might we might have to investigate this a little bit before it goes out. It does seem to be almost new. I mean, there's a little ding in the corner, but 
But I'm down for some good Absolute, recipes. Absolutely okay with this. Yeah, so, I mean, this box is just what I said it was going to be. It's a fun box. You get what you get, and it's not always going to be great, but the PJ box was amazing, and I'm really happy about it. I'm kind of excited to see how the bras do. I just want to see if that helps our sales, given that they're essentials, and I don't know. I mean... Of the bras, not most of them are essential bras that you're going to wear on a regular basis. They're more essential for something else. Well then, um, anyways, he said what he said. But that is everything we have. It's been really fun to do an unboxing. It's been quite a long time. And if you guys like them and you want us to do more of them, do let us know in the comments below because we can absolutely order more of them. I've just yeah. been kind of lazy with it. Um, but don't forget to check out Murray Life's video. And let us know what you think of hers as well. Uh, we will be back really soon with a new video. Thank you for watching.